Hey folks, how y'all doing? I found a uh, tool that will fit the back of the newer Honda Ranchers that you can adjust your shocks with. And these are Shawa shocks. I'm going to show you. And these are come on the new 2014 Honda four-wheelers. And I had time finding this tool when it would fit it correctly. Yeah, you can use a set of pipe wrench. You can use a pipe wrench or set of uh, channel locks, large set of channel locks to, with a rag to move it. But this tool fits the notches and will, it's like, they're a little less than six miller than the notches are. And it's made by Drag Specialties. And here is the number on it. It's a DS1 192 282 and it fits great. Alright, we'll try it out, y'all. Okay. Move this camera over a little bit. And uh, this fits the front and rear shocks. And it's adjustable. The wrench, oh, here's the wrench, y'all. The wrench is, is adjustable for the, fr for the rear. Or for the front, so it works. So, should I get get it on here correctly? And first time I ever use this. But it does fit. All right. Bear with me. I'm going to de decrease them. There we go. And now if I want to take and make them more stiffer, that's the lowest. I'm going to adjust it up one more notch. Okay. And I'm going to grab the tool right here. Find my notch. That's up one. That's where I had it. Okay. Now let's go to the front. And it's, it's just to adjust your positions whether you want them tighter or looser. But this is a great tool. And it's adjustable. So let's try the front ones now. Okay. We'll be right there. Okay, y'all. Same thing with this side. Right here. Is that you can let me move the camera back a little bit. Let me see here. There we go. It has notches, like four. Now I think it's four notches all the way around on on this. And here's your notches right in here. This area here. But let's see, and it's adjustable. This wrench is adjustable. Okay, so, and without damaging your shocks, okay, I'm going to, let's see here, I'm going to decrease, I'm going to put the spanner, the pin spanner or spanner wrench in that notch, as you see here, and I want, I'm going to upcrease the load. Uh, make it stiffer. I'm trying to. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna go up one. And there you go. 
And the best way to do this is jack it up with a floor jack like you're changing the tires or and let all pressure off, which is the easiest way to do it. But there's not a load on it right now, much of a load, and one's sitting on it, but it's just pressure of the actual weight of the bike, the four wheeler ATV. All right, I'm gonna set it back to the stop position now. And I'll stick the spanner wrench in here. All right, and I'm gonna decrease the load. There we go. Simple as that. And this is a great tool, y'all. Great tool. Uh, let me see here. I I recommend it. It's real good, and it works for both front and rear shocks. Yeah, so far on this Honda Rancher, I mean, this is a great tool to have to keep in your, uh, your luggage bag, as you see I have on mine. Uh, but it's adjustable front and rear. If you got, uh, say, a buddy that's hunting buddy or a riding buddy or girlfriend, wife is riding with you and you want to adjust the rear, it's a perfect tool. Or let's say in the front, you want to haul a deer out of the woods or uh, another cargo bag and you got some weight on it and you want to adjust your, your shocks, your coil springs for your shocks, this is a great, great tool. And again, uh, I got it online, I got it on eBay, but a lot of your uh, bigger motorcycle stores and ATV stores will have it. And this is made by Drag Specialties. And there it is. And here's the part number that you would need. And it's simply made, it fits on shower shocks. Uh, that's what's on this ATV here. It's Honda uh, 2014 TRX FM 500 FM1. Hope I said that right. Honda Foreman TRX 500 FM1. All right, I had to correct myself there, I hope. But anyway, made by Drag Specialties, and it works, it works great. It's a universal tool, and it's under six millimeter. The notches, that's what goes, that's what goes inside where you're all, uh, when you want to adjust your shocks. Instead of using a uh, set of channel locks or a wrench, which will work, but these are much easier and smaller to put into your, your uh, luggage bag, luggage rack. And I'll, I'll show you the shocks again, but uh, second. I'll show you what type of shocks are on this ATV. Again, these are the Shawa shocks. Right. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And these are the HR4 uh, point A21s. That's from the rear of the Honda Foreman 500 2014s. Also, I'll go around to the front and the spanner, the spanner wrench fits in his notches there. That's what you want to turn it with. All right, let's go to the front. And the, those are the same brands. Okay, okay, y'all. Now, on the front of this, the Honda uh, Four Tracks, the Honda Foreman TRX 500 FM1. These are the front shocks. And there's two of them, one on each side. And these are the, let me that that. And these are also the shower shocks. HR, let me see here. Yeah, the same thing. Let's see if I get a better picture of them. One second, y'all. Okay. But, I'm gonna go in a little closer. Bear with me. Anyway, they're the HR fours also. Got a big knob in the way. One second. Okay, here they are. Uh, again, y'all, sorry about that for the, my video difficulties. And they are the, might get a better shot. Trying to get in between lugs. Yeah, they're the HR4s. There we 
we go. HR fours point eight two ones on there. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, but this tool works great. I just thought I'd help you all out to see it works works good for your ATV. Okay, yeah, anyway, that's just a little, little update on the video I wanted to share, wanted to share with y'all. Also, there's something else cool I want to show y'all too. But anyway, the, uh, the reptiles, uh, the Interco reptiles, I got them set at 4.4 .4 pounds of air pressure. Or four and a half. I think you can even go five pounds just to make it even. And uh, yeah, they work great. Not a lot. Of, I mean, when you first get them going in the morning, a little bit of bump, but that's normal for any tire. And you get on the trail or on the road, hard pack, they do a great job. All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you all so much cool too that I found out that <laughs> it's beyond me, but I just found it. But I'll show you all. All right. One second. All right, this is the other thing I want to show y'all. On the Honda uh, Foreman's, the 2014's, they come in this empty pocket. And that is originally designed um, on the ranchers. They have a, a gear uh, lever there. But this is an open box where you can store gear in it. But see, my biggest fear was going out on the trail. Oh man, if I had my cell phone in there, you know, which, which, which does fine. But if you're going down a trail, you might, oh man, that thing might wiggle out and, you know, you know, it might just come out. But Honda, um, Honda makes a great thing for this. I'm going to show you a little, little idea, a pointer that I found. Turn this whole phone off. And uh, anyway, I'm going to show it to you online. All right. And uh, this thing is pretty cool. It's a... Uh, it is a accessory that you can buy at your dealer. You might be able to order it online too. It's 2014 accessories and it's called a pocket side net. All right, and that's where that goes. Um, in fact, I'll click over here to the instructions how you put it in. You take your the cover off, the whole main, you take the seat off and the covers and there's where it goes, right here. That pocket, it's called a pocket side net. And that way gear won't rattle loose and all that kind of good junk. And it's pretty simple to install. And let me see, that's where that goes, right in here. And it's called a side pocket net. I'm gonna give me a couple of them for kicks and giggles. But it says right here, when it shows a diagram, after you take the, uh, you, you unscrew it from the bottom panel of your, uh, of the, of the uh, ATV cover. That goes over top of your tank and your, your fuel injection, all that kind of stuff. I can show you my other video when I change the oil. Alright. And it's pretty self-explanatory. I'd install it. Great instructions. Or even get your dealer install it, whichever you prefer to do. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. I found I thought that was a pretty neat option. You know, this side net. But anyway, uh, that ATV tool works great, y'all. Uh, like I say, I tried another one, a Moose Racing brand. Uh, this is what I tried before. And it worked pretty good, but I had to cut it down to make it work. Yeah, this will still work, but the other one works a whole lot better. Just, just saying. And here's a that's what that bad boy looks like. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna cut this video short. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching. This is Kenneth W. KVUSMC or Kenneth W. Byer Jr. Hey, y'all have a good one. Thank y'all for watching. Please send, some, send me some comments or feedback. Please subscribe. God bless and simplify. All right. Bye-bye.